Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy John, aka Spears here. And in today's YouTube video, we're going to be ranking the ARs from worst to best. I would like to preface this video that all of the guns in the game are pretty balanced. Obviously, there's some outliers, you know, in the SMG category. And then there's one AR that I think is just leagues above all of the others. But for the most part, the game is really, really balanced. So ranking these guns was really tough. So I would like to say that if your gun for whatever reason ranks in at a lower rank than you guys think it should be, you know, it's okay. It's still good. You know, all the guns in the game, you know, especially in the AR, AR category, they definitely are all good. Definitely all usable. I haven't run across one gun yet that I have been like, you know, I can't use this. It just doesn't work. It's not getting any kills, stuff like that. So shout out to Treyarch because they did a fantastic job balancing the game, except for a few exceptions like the MP5 and stuff like that. But in terms of ARs, really, really balanced. If you guys could let me know down in the comment section down below, kind of before the video starts, rank the ARs from worst to best kind of in the comment section so I can see where you guys are at, see if, you know, my list is close to yours and how kind of the community is feeling. But if you guys haven't already dropped a like, I'd very much appreciate that. If we could somehow break 2,000 likes on this video, it'd be absolutely phenomenal. The support on Cold War has been insane. We've been gaining subscribers left and right. The videos are doing well. So I appreciate all the support. So with that being said, if you guys have not already subscribed, around 85% of the people that watch my videos are not. So if you guys haven't already, I would appreciate it if you guys would subscribe to the YouTube channel. So that way you guys don't miss any future uploads or any of my live streams. I do stream here on YouTube for those of you who don't know. But without further ado, guys, let's get into ranking the ARs. So the AR that's coming in at number five, which I think is kind of the worst AR. And like I said before, man, all the guns in the game are pretty balanced and pretty good. But this just doesn't have the it factor, if you will. It doesn't there's nothing really that sets it apart that makes it better than the others. And that is the QBZ 83. I think this gun just doesn't really have what it takes. It does the TTK isn't terribly long, but it's not super, super fast either. The maneuverability of the gun is also pretty good uh, compared to some of the other more traditional ARs. I could see how you guys could deck this thing out to kind of be like an SMG AR. The recoil is not bad. The fire rate is decent. And overall, it just leads it to being kind of an average weapon. You, know, you can still have stellar gameplays with it, but it's just not going to kill all that fast. And that is why I think it comes in at number five. The attachments that I do recommend that you guys run on this or the attachments that I found kind of work the best is the mill stop reflex. When it comes to the sights for all of the guns, please feel free to switch up whatever you guys want, obviously with any of the attachments, but with sights in particular, I know it's really personal preference because this gun does have a really clean iron sights as well, but I use the mill stop reflex. I use the infantry compensator for the muzzle. Obviously suppressors also help, but the compensator will help with that recoil. For the barrel, I'm using the 15.5 inch heavy, which increases the effective damage range by 100%. And 40% of the bullet velocity, which is really, really helpful and really huge. For the laser, I use the steady aim laser because that helps with the hip fire. And hip fire in this game is just pretty bad all around. Uh, for the grip, I'm using the field agent grip. Again, this one helps with vertical recoil and horizontal recoil. But the magazine, I go with the salvo 50 round. My philosophy with assault rifles, the more bullets, the better, especially because you guys are probably going to be sitting on a head glitch or, you know, just trying to cross map people. So the 50 round salvo. And the airborne elastic going in for the handle because this helps with the flinch resistance the aim down sight speed and you can aim while going prone so drop shotting is a thing not that you do it too often with ars but if you guys can have that option you might as well and then moving into the stock i use the raider stock you get that 30 percent sprint to fire speed while some of the other attachments do slow the gun down a little bit this helps to kind of balance it out bring it back to its natural state and allows you to kind of get a competitive edge with that sprint fire speed and then obviously your aim walking movement speed is up by 40 percent so this is huge because when you guys are using ars this game in particular you're going to kind of need to pre-aim you're going to need to walk around ads unfortunately that's just kind of how the game is in spot number four it's going to be the xm4 now this gun is a gun that i haven't really used too much in multiplayer but i have used it and picked it up and similar to the qbz it's good but the damage output for me and the recoil and just all things considered it's just not that great you know there's better options to use especially if you're a lower level there's a gun that is going to surprise you guys where it's ranked at because it is really good for the level that you unlock it at with the xm4 again it just damage output isn't that great um the recoil is kind of bouncy for the lack of damage it does the recoil is you know it's not terrible right none of the guns in this game i think are super hard to control but in terms of fire rate and the kind of bounciness of the site that is why this ranks in at number four for me for this gun setup, I'm going to go ahead and recommend the mill stop reflex again. I kind of like the mill stop again. 
personal preference use whatever you want for the muzzle i use the infantry compensator the barrel the reinforced heavy barrel again again that 40 percent bullet velocity and that 100 percent damage range is really helpful without hurting too many of the other stats for the body i go with the steady aim laser for the under barrel the field agent grip yet again uh for the magazine again 50 round fast mags the more bullets the better the handle the airborne elastic wrap and then for the stock i'm using the raider stock for that sprint to fire and that aim down sight speed again the xm4 great gun overall but just not as good as some of the other options that we have speaking of other options that we have in the number three spot we have the craig six the craig six is a gun that kind of took me by surprise i wasn't expecting it to be that good and i think that you know in terms of damage it is slightly weaker than the xm4 but the thing that sets it apart is the fact that there is virtually zero recoil when this gun set up properly which makes it very very versatile and in terms of assault rifles the ability to beam people at a super long range makes it stand out and is why it's ranking in at number three in my opinion as you guys are seeing in the gameplay in the background very little recoil decent damage output shoots very very straight and to obtain that super straight shooting i go ahead and throw on the mill stop reflex again for the muzzle i'm using that infantry compensator to help kind of counteract some of the recoil i do recommend if you guys are playing public matches you know just you know hard points whatever make sure you guys are probably throwing on a suppressor instead of the compensator again it just goes to player skill level what you guys are trying to achieve you know are you guys trying to go on streaks or are you guys going for max accuracy the setups i'm giving you guys today are for max accuracy so that infantry compensator for the barrel it's a little bit different i'm using the 19.7 inch takedown it gives you 150 percent effective damage range again i think damage range on this gun since it's made for that super long distance and it has almost no recoil damage range is going to be something that is very very helpful because it's kind of more of a beamy ar if you will it's made for those long distance engagements moving on to the body the steady aim laser because it gives you plus 20 percent hip fire accuracy with very little cons the under barrel i'm going with the field agent grip again it's a beamy ar you guys want to be able to you know shoot as far as you possibly can so this helps with that six percent vertical recoil and the 20 percent horizontal recoil because the horizontal recoil is what you guys want to focus on when putting attachments on guns that's what's going to be the main issue or the main you know cause that left to right recoil whereas the up and down recoil isn't as serious for the magazine the more bullets the better the salvo 50 round fast mag absolute beast on this gun the airborne elastic for the ads the flinch resistance and the ability to drop shot and then for the tactical stock we're going with the raider stock so that you guys get that print sprint to fire and the aim down sight speed moving in to the number two spot there are two assault rifles left we have the ffar and we have the ak-47 which i know a lot of people have been telling me in my twitch streams and my youtube streams Spiros, the AK has the highest damage output. The gun's nasty. Let me know down in the comment section down below what you guys are think is going to rank in at number two right here. So number two, the second best AR in the game, in my opinion. Again, this is all in my opinion. Everybody can have their own opinion. In my opinion, the second best AR is going to go ahead and be the AK-47. I know, highest damage output. This gun is really gnarly. I'm currently working on getting a gold, and I like it a lot. I really do. I think it's very versatile. It reminds me, for some reason, with the recoil, the sounds, the way the gun acts and reacts, it really reminds me a lot of the CSGO AK-47. I didn't play a lot of CSGO, but it just has a real AK-47 feel to it, if that makes sense. Whereas in Modern Warfare, I feel like the gun just isn't really AK-47-like. But this one really feels like an ak i don't know what they did they did a fantastic job again this gun does have the highest damage output which i think makes it a very very viable option but again i'm doing my ranking system based on you know just usability overall not just based on the numbers just my experience the ak overall and you get it at a very low level so if you guys have to choose between the xm4 and the ak i highly recommend you guys pick up this ak this thing is going to be an absolute shred machine to make it that shred machine i'm gonna go ahead and go over the attachments now i got the micro flex led on this one i'm doing it a little bit different i didn't use the mill stop i used the micro flex for the muzzle we get the spetsnaz compensator ak's notoriously have a lot of recoil the ak in this game isn't terrible but with that compensator it's just going to make it a little bit more user friendly we got the 18.2 inch vdv reinforced barrel this for that bullet velocity and that damage range the body, I got the steady aim laser hip fire in this game. It's atrocious. We've been over that. So the steady aim laser for the barrel. For the under barrel, I'm going with the foregrip because this does 15% horizontal recoil. This is what the main problem with the AK is. The AK doesn't have a ton of vertical recoil. It has a lot of visual vertical recoil, but in, tr in terms of true vertical recoil, not a ton of it. So I don't see the point in putting on 
the the Spetsnaz grip because I don't want to lose that shooting move speed. I don't think it needs it on this gun. I really do think that the four grip, but that 15% horizontal recoil, I think that's all you guys are going to need. For the magazine, more bullets, the better. We got the VDV 50 round fast mag, the handle, the Gru elastic grip, the ADS, the flinch resistance, and the aim down sight speed shot. And then for the stock, we're going with the KGB skeletal stock for that sprint to fire and that ADS. And then that leaves number one. I'm sure as a lot of you guys can tell, the number one gun is probably one of my favorite guns in the game, and that is the FFAR. And there is a reason it is number one on this list, and that is because while it may not have the highest damage, it is kind of the best overall weapon, in my opinion, next to the MP5. The FFAR is basically just like a hybrid between the MP5 and like the and an AR. Like this gun can do it all. Up close, you're perfectly fine. At distance, you're perfectly fine. But this gun really does shine at mid range with a lot of these 6v6 maps. That's kind of the engagements you're getting in are these mid range engagements. And this thing is an absolute melt machine. If you guys can somehow hit headshots with this, this thing will drop people in like three bullets. And the fire rate is incredibly fast. And that is something that I really like is the high fire rate, the high damage, and just the overall usability of the gun. You can run and gun with it. You can sit back with it. You can do it all. This is kind of a do it all gun, which is why the AK fell short at number two, because it kind of is more of that longer distance. It's not as good up close, but it does have that high damage output. But again, FFAR, I think best AR in the game by a long shot. So for the optic, I got the mill stop reflex again. For the muzzle, we're going with the infantry compensator. The barrel, we're going with the 19 and a half inch reinforced heavy for that effective damage range and that bullet velocity. For the body, that steady aim laser. You know, we just need that eight, we just need that hip fire. The hip fire in this game is really bad. For the under barrel, we're going with the SFOD speed grip because this helps with your sprint movement speed. Again, kind of using it as an SMG style esque gun. But again, you get that horizontal recoil control because that is what we struggle with most. Vertical recoil is really not that bad. Anybody can control that. But the horizontal recoil for us controller players, that's kind of the big problem. So I recommend using the speed grip. For the magazine, I go with the 44 round fast mag. The more bullets, the better. The handle, we're using the airborne elastic, the ADS, the flinch resistance, the ability to drop shot. Absolutely huge. And then for the stock, we're going with the Raider stock, that sprint to fire, and the ADS speed. Anyway, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comment section down below what you guys are ranking the ARs as from worst to best. Let me know, you know, or just list them one through five. I'm genuinely curious. If you guys like this video, also let me know down below, just so that way I know. I'm probably also gonna do this with all of the other weapon categories, so that way people kind of have an idea what they should be grinding, what they shouldn't, because man, grinding guns in this game takes an absolute ton of time. So it's good to know a little bit of information beforehand. But anyway, guys, if you haven't already dropped a like, I'd very much appreciate that. Subscribe if you guys are new around here. Without further ado, guys, it's been lit. It's been real. It's your boy Spurs. I'm gonna catch y'all later, man. Peace. Established overhead.